want you to keep in mind today. Keep in mind that difficult times don't last. Strong-minded people do. That's right. With a strong mind, we can outlast the hard times. We can weather the storm that we're going through right now. Whatever that storm may look like for you. Financial issues. Struggle with self-esteem. Whatever it is. Remember that difficult times do not last. But stronger, strong-minded people. They will survive. You can push through that battlefield that you're on today. You will be victorious. You have to speak positive thoughts. Today, right now, there's no time for self-doubt. That's right. When doubt comes to the mind, eliminate doubt. God said it in the Bible, have no fear. I am with you. So whenever I go through uncharted territory, I rely on my faith. That's right, it's that simple. Because there are days that I wake up and I have fear. Not sure how we are going to make a way or find a way to what the goal may be. What we are trying to get accomplished. But then I pray. Matter of fact, every night, my sons and I, we pray. And part of that prayer is saying, have no fear. Come on, man, let's get it. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20. Curls. Let's go. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20,
If you are waking up today with anxiety, anxious about what the future may hold, waking up experiencing panic attacks, having insomnia, cannot sleep due to the demand that you're facing, the demand that we are facing. It's extremely difficult out here. The challenges, that's right, the challenges that we're facing is relentless right now. They're not letting up. They got some of us in a chokehold. Let's pray. Let's meditate. Let's try our best to find peace. That's right. Find peace. Joy within the things that we enjoy. Concentrate. Try to find sometimes it's just that one thing that you can focus on that occupies your mind. Before we started doing this marathon preacher, before we got on this journey, my lifestyle was reckless. That's right. I was reckless as be at best. So today I want you to find that, that something that you can focus on, that you love, that's dear to your heart. It can be your family, your kids, whatever it is, a passion of yours, 